Welcome to Duval Daily presented by GenJag.com. I'm Jordan DeLugo. Thank you so much for tuning in here on Monday, September 2nd. Quick little update for y'all. Doug Peterson did speak with the media today. No, he did not reveal who would be calling plays on offense for the Jacksonville Jaguars this year. Said that uh, team captains will be announced on Wednesday. He's already decided, but I guess the Jaguars are going to do a little promotion for that Wednesday. Um, the Jaguars, though, what I want to talk about here today, entering this 2024 campaign. Right, It is week one. First football game for the Jaguars is Sunday. NFL season kicks off on Thursday. Games all weekend, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, Monday. It's here, and it's very exciting. And another thing that's very exciting is the Jaguars are, all things considered, extremely healthy entering week one. I'm not someone who you know believes in superstition and all that type of stuff where you can't talk about the I-word injuries or whatever, but I do want to talk about this because, you know, there's a lot of teams around the league that are not as fortunate as the Jaguars right now. And just look at last year. I mean, with the Jacksonville Jaguars, what they had going on entering the regular season, one of their best players defensively, a guy they signed to a new deal, Devon Hamilton had a crazy situation a couple weeks into preseason. But right now your Jacksonville Jaguars entering week one against the Miami Dolphins, a big AFC matchup very talented football team they're going against and a brutal really first four or five games of the year before they head to London. They're healthy. They absolutely are. Uh, they're trying to get Daniel Thomas back on the field this week. He Farwell said last Thursday, I believe it was that, you know, they're expecting to get him back out on the field. And Doug Peterson talked about that again today. Everybody else is playing. I know people ask about Dewey, Andrew Wingard, Keelan Robinson. Both of those guys are out the first four weeks at least, right? They are placed on the non-season ending injury, uh, IR, right? Injury report, um, injured reserve. So Dewey with the knee, he is out the first four. Keelan Robinson with the toe, out the first four. But everybody that is on the active roster right now is looking healthy, and that's including Eric Armstead. The Jaguars are feeling good about where he's at. And, and there's nothing else to speak of at this point, right? Everybody else was able to get back to full health. Christian Kirk, he's practicing. He's good to go. He missed, you know, the last preseason game. Wasn't able to go in that one. Had a little bit of a calf situation going on, but he's looking good to go. And Christian Kirk's a huge part of this offense. So, you know, whether it's offensive line, defensive front, quarterback, running backs outside of Keelan, wide receivers, Linebackers, safeties, outside of Dewey, corners, it's looking pretty good. And they're going to need all hands on deck for this first month of the season, right? At Miami, you also have, you know, the Cleveland Browns coming in who quarterback situation being what it is, there's some questions about that football team, but they're another team that could look at the Jaguars and say, man, we wish we were that healthy right now. Um, And this can all change. It can change in a flash. But entering week one, the Jaguars are in a good spot. And so they've got the Browns, obviously, week two in Jacksonville. They're going to take on the Bills, Monday night football, a big game in Buffalo. Josh Allen, always one of the most difficult quarterbacks to prepare for and play against. And then um, rounding out the first four weeks of the season, they play the Texans. And then in week five, they play the Colts. So before they head to London, two big division games. Uh, the Colts are not a pushover, even though I do think Trevor Lawrence and the Jaguars will be able to get their their uh Offense going, certainly against the Colts, and I, I think that the Jaguars will will be able to beat the Colts in that football game. But the first four, they are coin flip type of games, in my opinion. So being fully healthy entering that that stretch, I think, is fantastic for the Jaguars. And we will uh, obviously be monitoring for any other situations that may arise from an injury standpoint between now and Sunday. But it's looking good for your Jaguars. Let me know what you guys think about the Jaguars heading into week one. About this injury situation, health situation for the Jaguars, I think it's a pretty good pretty good spot to be in. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you enjoy the content here, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We will have updates. We will have coverage, analysis, previews all week coming up for this football game. Really appreciate y'all's support of the channel. Have a good one.